Hello, Batty Bats. I'm so glad you've joined me for another. And to celebrate the theme of today, which is slashers, I'm wearing my favorite slasher, Chucky. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below who your favorite horror movie slasher is. For those that are new, Twisted Tuesday is a day where I like to go out into the interwebs and look for new indie games to play. So any concepts that intrigue me, I will play on Twisted Tuesday. So let's get right to it. So to start off the slasher theme, I have a fun game here. I'm a Halloween girl, so I had to try Candy Cutter. The premise is that you're going out on Halloween night and collecting as much candy as possible, but beware there's a killer on the loose, so we have to survive, so this should be fun. Alright, Batty Bats, let's give Candy Cutter a try. Oh, God. Alright, so we have to find all the candy, pick it up. Okay, I got my candy, I did a little squat there. Alright, apparently there's a gun in this game, but we only have one shot. Oh, that's not good, man. I thought I saw candy. Oh, we can crap. Oh, crap, I'm scared. Who? Where's the killer? Alright, let me just get this candy, my guy. The candy is more important than my life. Oh, oh, oh! Does he linger? Yo, let's bounce and make a run for it, my guy. Unhidden. Freaking run! Dude, I love the soundtrack. Very 80s. <laughs> I love the style, too. Like, I'm all for this game. Oh my god. You know, it's never too early to get into the Halloween spirit, I say. For me, Halloween is never over. Alright. Alright, pop a squat. <laughs> Alright, I don't know how many- Oh, 36 pieces of candy, my guy. I'm gonna get freaking cavities. Well- Oh, <gasps> no! No, 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 no. I think getting in a garage is safer. I think he's faster than me. I think that's what I- Oh, no! God! I got gutted. <laughs> okay. I only collected four pieces of candy. Alright, I gotta do better. Now, how do I reset? I'm just hanging here. What in the world? Let me just... I'm not sure where I would find the gun. But, uh... Yeah. Oh. Bro, it literally, literally sounds like... Let me just hide in here. Alright, I'm hidden. So it tells me. That's good. Let me just wait a bit. So we got sound cues. Or he has to be close. I don't see anybody yet, though. I'm not sure where the killer is. Oh! Okay. Alright. I'm unhidden. Oh. Alright. Alright. I think I just gotta go for it, my guy. Can run. All right, I saw his yellow beam. Anybody got candy out here? Give me all the freaking candy. I thought I saw a yellow beam. That is not good. All right, let's hide in this garage, which happens to have candy as well. Oh, give me the candy, my guy. Okay, I'm hidden. Let me just see where this killer is at. <laughs> so far, I don't see anything. Alright. I think I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh, snap, he's that way. Alright, let me not play games with this guy. Because he's faster than me. Let me hide behind the car. I don't know if for garages like this he could get into. He probably could. I'm hidden though. Okay. I freaking like this game so far. Alright, so I caught up to the last number. Um, I'm not sure if I want to aim for collecting all the candy. But I definitely want to see how high it can go. Alright, got five pieces of candy. Alright six pieces. Come on! Can't get stuck right now, man. Gotta keep my eye out for them chocolate bars, you know? Alright, let me get in a garage. Just lots of hiding, you know? 
Bro, this is one brave kid. He is willing to risk his life for a piece of candy. Oh, wow. Alright. Alright. Freaking... Freaking run! We are not running fast enough, man. Alright, just run the other direction. Try to find another garage to hide in. Hmm. Just want to try to go in an area. Alright, like here. This is good. Alright. I have seven pieces of candy. That isn't too bad, I guess. I would do want to make it to the double ditch, though. Yeah. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. Alright. At least there's lots of hiding spots. I like this game. I love games like this. They're just fun. Presents a nice challenge. And hey, gave me that 80s goodness, man. That wasn't a good idea. He was probably right on my tail. I need to find a freaking garage. He's fast, man. Freaking heck. I managed to hide just in time. That was way too close. He was right on my tail. Okay. Alright. Alright. Just go the opposite. Opposite direction. Alright, see a piece of candy. Whoa! I, I messed up by going the same direction as him. I didn't even see him until he was right up in my face. I need a garage! Come on! Oh, that's not a garage! I'm not running! I'm at freaking nine. There's a garage here somewhere, damn it. Get me in a freaking garage right now, damn it. Oh my god, I thought I was a goner. That was close. <laughs> that was way too close. Okay. I'll just wait a bit until it's safe. Yikes. This kid is on a sugar high. Ah, oh, I got gutted. He happened to be patrolling. But this is really fun. Okay. We're back to nine. Nah. Let's not play games. <laughs> Can't really see anything. Um. All right, let me wait a bit. <laughs> All right. At least there's a garage here. Where's the home yet? Really hope I don't run into him. Yikes. Freaking run into a garage. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it because he's fast. Yikes. Alright. I lost him just in time. <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure which direction he went, but I'm hoping he went to the left. Oh, uh, no. He's just waiting. Okay. I'm gonna have to go the other direction. Alright. Stay away from the other side, man. Hmm. I haven't seen another piece of candy in a little bit. Oh, here. Okay. I officially beat my last score. Yay, I'm in the double digits. <laughs> we gotta steal everybody's candy, my guy. Even if it's the last thing we do. 
Nobody got candy here. Alright, at least I was in front of a garage. That's good. Yo. I have a dozen. Alright, I think he went to the right side. Hmm. Where are the other pieces of candy at? Candy, where are you? Why are you hiding from me? Thank goodness I was near a garage. Oh, wow. I always get, like, scared that he might come in. Alright, it looks like he went to the other side. Yikes. Oh, there's another piece of candy. Unlucky number 13. Very appropriate. I think that's another piece. I think that's a place to hide too. Yo, it's getting real dark. Okay. I knew I should have hidden here. It's just in time. Hmm. Not sure if I'm gonna see him. <laughs> so I got 14 pieces. I, why did I panic? I could have gone to the street across. Alright, there's a garage here. I'm hidden. Okay, I'm thinking he might be on the right on the right side. Yeah, right now it's getting harder to see. Um, still looking for pieces of candy. kind of amazing that there's 36 pieces total. Some of them are very... Can I make it? I don't think so. I don't know. That was- Oh, shoot! I was just- What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I was about to enter the garage and somehow he gutted me and I went flying. Well, that was really fun. I love this. You know, it's a very simple game, but it's very fun. It's challenging. It's exciting with the slasher chasing you and collecting 30 pieces of candy. And I noticed that the more you die, the darker seems to get. So that's a nice challenge. So very well done game. I did see that the developer wrote that they're planning to do sequels, maybe like a part two or three. If they do, I totally want to play. So on to the next game. So for the second game, it's called Night Maniac. A game that tells the story of a butcher shop boss with a murderous ex-butcher who did not accept his own resignation and imprisonment. The killer is loose, ready to kill anyone who comes in his way without hesitation. In the demo, you play as a butcher that as always was supposed to be just another normal day at work. But tonight was different. We got a Toshiba VHS player, let's go. Game Studio. Warning, this game contains jump scares, loud scares, loud sounds, blood, gore, and violence. You have been warned. Yep, headphones for a great experience. Let's go. Oh, this is going to creep me out, man. Puppet combo games are something I've been wanting to play, and I will get to it soon. The only one I've ever tried, I haven't ever completed, was Murder House. Alright, Night Maniac, attention. This version is a demo, meaning that the game is not complete. You will only be able to play the prologue of the first chapter, and many things may change until the final version, such as 3D models, sounds, and other things in the game. Alright, I'm looking forward to this. Great presentation so far, man. You got me with the intro. Oh, yes. We got the night media. Bro, the 80s will never die. Let's go. Oh, that was...
was cool. All right, this is the prologue. All right, this is something new. Um, I believe it was published, I think, 10 days ago. So, all right, we were just dropped off. Enter the butchers. Gotcha. Can't really see. <laughs> oh, okay. Enter! Okay. Wow, it's super dirty, man. What's up, dude? David. Hey, John. You know you're an hour early, right? Really, dude? I didn't see the time I left. I thought I would arrive on time. <laughs> Alright, that's good for me. Because I'll be leaving early. Anyway, I'm leaving. Since you gotta work early, could you clean the butcher shop for me? Dude, it's freaking dirty. Of course I clean, since I'm bored anyway. Do you have plans tonight? Yes. What plans? <laughs> to sleep. This guy's relatable. I thought you would say that. Anyway, have a good job. I'm leaving. Thanks. See you, David. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why it made me look at the ground like that. Okay. All right, give me the broom. Give me the broom. Oh, I picked it up. All right. Let's freaking clean. All right, I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not sure how I got that. Oh. Okay, I got it now. Let's clean this place up. It's horrendous. We don't want customers freaking... Reporting us for being dirty pigs, man. We're also handling meat. It's got to be sanitary. Come on. Let's get this clean. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. We finished our job. Alright. I got my mouse going all crazy. <laughs> what does this say? Chuck beef? What the freak am I looking at? Oh, chuck beef. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I'm just i just now holding a piece of meat. Yay. I can't put it back, I guess. Oh, hey man, you want a piece of meat? Please take this off my hands. <laughs> Good night, sir. I'll have a chuck beef. Perfect, dude. I got the right one for you. Here you go. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, man. Have a good day, or I should say good night. <laughs> Wasn't that... Didn't that just work out perfectly? Alright. So, pretty slow night. What do we got here? What kind of... Are these chips? Are these pork rinds? That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, I love the old Coca-Cola ads. Classic. Don't freaking do that to me! Dude, that was a hell of a thunderstorm. Like, Jesus. So I'm just stuck here, man. Come on, doesn't anybody want to buy Chuck B for ham? Let's go. What else? Can, do we have other products put meat on the shelf? Oh, like the ham? Right? Not really sure. Oh, hi. What's up? <laughs> hey man, I want a chicken. Do you have it? Yikes. Chicken. Gotcha. Alright. It's saying to put meat on the shelf, but I'm not really sure. Do I just pick up random stuff? Put meat on the shelf. Put meat on the shelf. Well, I can't really pick up anything though. Oh. Yeah. So you got that Resident Evil style door opening cinematic. Oh, jeez Louise, man. Alright, do I pack stuff? Unpack? Anything here? Dude, are you serious? Don't do this to me. Oh, god. So that's probably gonna be a feature where... What the freak? No. Get me out of here. I gotta go back to the freaking main part. Like, I don't know if I have any new customers. Open the door! 
Um, did I just get locked in? Dude! Open the damn door! Oh my god, I got locked in. This is not good. Why did- why did I go back here? <laughs> why? I can't see anything. Power box. Oh god. Well, there's no other way. Why can't I get out? Open this door. Oh, I have to throw the trash away. Well... Okay. Can't pick up more than one. So I guess me going back here worked out fine. Alright. So I won't be able to get back in unless I dump all this trash. Man, that's loud. Come on, give me the trash bag. Give me the trash bag. Alright. It's kind of funny, we gotta do it one by one. <laughs> You seriously telling me I can't pick up two of these? They're little bags. Alright, last one. I have a bad feeling. I mean, what if somebody just pops in or something? Uh. Alright. Okay, that completes our objective. It should let me back in, right? Okay, finally. I wonder how many customers. Oh, surprisingly, no one. Alright, what's our new... Expect customers to arrive. So, we're just back to the huge. What the heck? Oh, what was that? Damn vandals! Are you kidding? Who the freak did that? The heck? I thought it might have a note. What the heck was that? What the freak? Why are you just randomly attacking a butcher shop? This isn't good. Yo, is that the po po? Come on! That's creepy. It's like I saw lighting effects, but I guess that's a glitch or something. Dude. Who's gonna be the next customer? It's gonna be this idiot. I threw it. Okay. <laughs> An hour later. Oh, wow. An hour later, we still don't have customer. Take the meat delivery and put it in the freezer room. Okay. I'm assuming that's the ham, right? Oh, no, the box outside. Okay. Alright. Wow. If the killer comes here, we only have, like, one spot to hide. It's this locker room. Okay. What? What now? Open the meat. Oh, okay. We gotta unpack. Okay. I'm wondering if this goes... Um... Probably behind the counter. Wherever the pork is. Let me just read what it said. Put the pork in the pork stock. Okay. Alright. That's done. What now? Alright. Gotta wait for more customers. It's been a while. <laughs> I like how we just, like, don't clean up the glass. Can I clean it up? Give me the broom. Alright. Got things nice and clean. Okay. Oh! Hey, I don't like that. Why did the lights just dim? I'm probably gonna have to go back to the power power box. Oh god. The lights went dim. I don't like that. Oh! 
Dude just wants to coke. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Hey man, you are brave to be working these hours with a killer on the loose. Oh, and give me some pork, please. Nice way to start a conversation, man. <laughs> Guy came in for some coke and pork. <laughs> so, everybody knows there's a killer on the loose. What in the world? Dude, if you're working a shift and somebody throws a freaking rock through the glass, I don't care. I'm going to be locking up and getting out. <gasps> oh. It always happens in horror movies too, man. Uh-oh. All right. Just quickly go to the back. I'm not playing games. Gosh, I don't know what to expect. What does our note say? Put hams in stock. Oh, basket. Why didn't he do that sooner, though? You just have meat lying about. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I have to do it individually? Do I put them... Um... No, probably, probably goes here. Yeah. Wow, we gotta pick up little by little. Why don't we just take the basket? Takes the basket. Okay. Alright, I don't know how much ham is left here. Seems almost endless, alright? Alright, I guess I'm done. <gasps> Yo! What in the world was that? Was that a freaking... I thought I saw a person, but that sound effect though. No. I, I don't like this. No, I don't like this. Hey, hey, freaking... What is happening? I can't get back here. What's the... T Go check it out. Are you kidding? to do man he's probably still here yikes is there no escape in the back what is this who is this we're not reacting to this we're just gonna be like okay scared the only thing is i don't even know like where's our car though we got dropped off what's the what's the seek help ah! what the who the hell screamed freaking get me out of here who screamed like that i don't understand our character screamed? Why the heck did he not scream when he saw the body though? There's blood. Dude, what am I supposed to do? 
The, f the f freaking computer is off. How am I supposed to seek help? <laughs> there has to be something. Is there a nearby store? This isn't good. That means he's nearby. Yeah, that's not good. I love the creepy sound effect. That really, really builds freaking tension and anxiety right there. I don't know, man. Am I able to use the broom as a weapon? <laughs> Get in the car! This is the only car here. Oy. Oh, here's the phone box. Wow. He cut the line. No service. What the heck? We just got bodies piling up. Now what? Go back to a safer place. What the heck? I have no idea. <laughs> Did my game crash? <laughs> Thanks for playing the demo. Dude, why did you have to do that to me at the end? That was freaking cool. Diego Victor, Zero. All songs created by the developer as well. Amazing job. This is gonna be freaking amazing, I can tell, and I'm excited for the full release. I am definitely playing it, man. Great job. Got me good. <laughs> So that was Night Maniac. All right, on to the next game, buddy bets. And for the last game of this Twisted Tuesday episode, it's called Not Alone. You're walking home late at night on the streets with a serial killer on the loose. Ethan is sleeping at work just as usual, but unlucky for him, someone has eyes on him. While going home, he notices strange events like doubled footsteps and eerie noises. Once he reaches his house, so does his stalker. Now it's up to you to help Ethan survive the killer on the loose. All right, buddy bats, let's try not alone. So we're walking home, and there's a serial killer. All right, we fell asleep at work. Why do I already hear footsteps? What's going on? It's too late. I should head home. Okay, dude. Okay, it doesn't look like I can run or do much else. Um, alright. First things first is trying to figure out how to exit my office. Alright. Okay, E for interacting. Alright. Oh, that's not good. Why you gotta open so slow? Okay. Oh, dear. Yeah. This is really creepy. Almost like... I don't, I don't know. Every, everything's just oh empty. Could get lost. I already hear footsteps. They sound like it's behind me. This person's like following my every move. We got a stalker. Wow. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh God. The freaking door opening freaked me out. I thought I saw somebody freaking open! 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 Freaking... Tab. News. The psychopath serial killer was spotted in the streets again. Everyone is advised to lock their doors and turn off the lights. What? Oh, dear. I can't even run. We're just walking. This is creepy. 
This is why I could probably never walk alone at night. Oh, really? You're doing this to me? Hey, somebody hiding in the corner? What's going on here? Dude, I'm always looking over my shoulder, though. Oh my god. Alright, so far so good. I don't hear other footsteps. I don't know where I live, though. We got some police stationed here, but nobody's actually... Paying attention? I don't see nobody. Can I? Can I? Can I speak to an officer? <laughs> Where do I live, man? Well, doesn't that look eerie? A dumpster. Press F to turn on flashlight. Are you kidding? I have to go here. Oh, this isn't good. <gasps> You're kidding me. Look behind. Don't you freaking dare. Don't you freaking dare. Oh my god, I have a feeling they're gonna tell me, press whatever to run. It's like, don't do this to me. What am I supposed to do? Oh, really? Okay, is this my home? It's broken into, if that's the case. Abandoned building? What is this? I have no idea where I'm going. Is this my bed? Is this my home? What's going on? Hey. I, I don't like that sound. Okay, that's not good. My character's breathing heavily. <gasps> what the? What is this? I can't pick up a key. I can't pick up anything. Okay, can I interact with this? What's what's going on? Everything here looks so disturbed. Like. I don't understand. I can't... I can't get in. Why is this key here, dude, and I can't pick it up? Okay. I'm gonna go up. in the bloody world. This is just empty, but it's supposed to be a bathroom. Alright? It's like an abandoned building that I'm in. I just don't understand, like... Am I even in the right spot? I guess I just keep going up, right? There's a door. It's locked. Oh, I I don't know what to do. Like... The idea of looking behind and seeing something ooh, it freaks me out, man. I wonder if this is the stalker's home. I keep hearing sounds. Give me the key! I don't like this. I was finally able to pick up the key. What did I do to be able to do that? You see? You saw me multiple times try to press E to pick up the key. Somehow it freaking worked. Alright. So now I just gotta, I guess, go to that one door. Press shift 
to sprint? I didn't even see what was ahead of me. Okay. So he was just waiting. Tab. I can't see anything. I'm terrified. Yikes. Okay, it's telling me to run, but it's hard to see. It's really hard to see. Yikes, I'm just running. Come on! Police officers, help me! What am I supposed to do? He just pops up out of nowhere. Okay. Turn left. There has to be a place I can get into. I don't know. I'm gonna try zigzagging. Alright. That has lights. Okay. Do you did you hear that? I need to block the door. Get this chair. Block the door with what? Okay. This is interesting. It's probably going to break in, try to break in. Why did that I heard a door? What the heck is this? Get me out of Okay. Home assistant is telling me it's in my bedroom. Let's try to hide. You can hide in closets and under beds. I can't see though. My flashlight. This isn't good. Can I? How did he not see me? Is he, are these stairs? Yo, I should have been dead. Hide under the bed. The fact that I made it this far is pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna stay hiding. I don't know what to expect. Like, okay. Oh no. weird because you can't see anything oh he was just here he was checking a closet can't see a damn thing. What's back here? Uh oh. I'm done. I can't. See, that's the problem, it's too dark. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, it closed the door, I guess, but I don't know if this counts as hiding. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not. 
The police! Help me! Help me! Help me! Are the police coming to save me? I don't know what happened. It seems like everything went dark. Whoa! Is that the police? Okay, the chair disappeared. <gasps> Please help me! Help me! <laughs> oh my god! I made it to the end! I survived! I didn't think I would make it because that was crazy. That was hilarious though. There was a moment where I was so close like, dude, I should have been dead. But hey, I completed it. Yay! That was very fun. Very, it fed on the paranoia of someone freaking watching you, you hearing sounds, thinking someone's like behind you, constantly looking over your shoulder. It's like... Oh my god, that was very spooky. Alright, Batty Bats, if you enjoyed this episode of Twisted Tuesday, be sure to swarm the like button, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content, and ring the bell to stay on top of my latest uploads. Leave a comment down below if you'd like. Farewell, Batty Bats, and pay a visit again next time. See you the following Tuesday for the next episode of Twisted Tuesday. Take care.